So Ian, newcomer, what's your topic? Topic that I have brought to the table that I want to discuss about this is recently over the last few years, I have gotten these, this anxiety, this anxious type feeling that as a society, as a whole, we have gotten to the point where we are plateauing as a, from a technology standpoint. And now you guys can probably enlighten me on this because I don't, I don't read much words in the papers. <laughs> all right. But I feel as though uh, food products, freaking, uh, you know, sports drinks, spears, technology, like clothing, all this different stuff, all this, all these different things that we, people invent are just products. Products. They're stagnant. They're just like how many different flavors of gum can you come out with? Now I know, like gum. What are you gonna do with gum? That's a really simple right. thing. But I mean, like. There's like four. It's not like possible for a newcomer to come into the gum market. Yeah. You know, like that's pretty much you got your your main gum people. But anyway, right. not a good example. But let's say, for example, I'm talking about phones, right? Let's talk about our iPhones, our Galaxies, all that stuff. There's like two big honchos. Yeah, and that's pretty it, much it, it. And then it takes a little bit of a dip off the cliff. Yeah. And the thing is, is with these, what is the most, like, honest to God, what is the biggest technolog- technological advancement that they've had on these things aside from... An edged screen or a new better, way to charge your phone. Better camera. Yeah, like that edge, that better edge, camera. That edge screen stuff seems so useless to me. Yeah. Cool. Now I can yeah. see the one time you want to see down. your text when you're look when you're laying on your bed. Yeah. But that's it. But that's yeah. <laughs> maybe that's it. I don't know. So what are you guys' thoughts? I mean, what do you think? I don't know. I think personally that we're in a spot right now where there's a lot of technology that we want. And that we're going for, but we just don't know how to get there. So in the meantime, all these companies just try to come up with stuff and invent stuff that's just like derivatives of old products. I mean, think about all the movies that come out that are just remakes of ones from the 80s. Or just yeah, superhero that's movies. Mark. Yeah, or just, yeah. Uh, I don't know, uh, let's just make another superhero movie. Leaf Man. Yeah. He's going to float through the sky and get eaten by caterpillars. It's funny you that say that like because <laughs> not, only, not only do I ask myself, like, are we, are we staying still, but... When we do make advancements, I've I've noticed then the last year and a half or so, I've wondered, is it really that much better? Like, did my life really get better? Yeah. Because I was talking to someone the other day about how much I hate having cell phones. I would give anything to go back in a day where we didn't have cell phones. Yeah. And I personally would love that. Not I'm, cell phones entirely. I like the texting, but like the smartphones and the... See, for me, I'm I'm in the minority for sure, but I would just not want to have a cell phone at all. Fair period enough. i would not mind just, land just getting getting rid of it no social media no anything i would love to go back but i just wonder so we get we get cell phones obviously they have tons of benefits mm-hmm. i'm not going to deny that right social media has tons of benefits but i wonder does it really make our lives better than what they were because i'm sh- there like i said there's plenty of arguments that they do but do they really? Because in all reality, all you need to survive is food, water, shelter, and some sort of compassion. And a little bit of love. A little bit of love. So I just wonder, as we progress as a society, when we when we make these fine tunes of, okay, well, now we have tablets. Now we have 4K TVs. Yeah. Are they really making our lives better? Or are they just kind of just giving us another avenue to you know waste our time away? I, yeah. I think in terms of more materialistic things like just the simple fact of upgrading a phone or the simple fact of upgrading a TV, that stuff doesn't improve our lives. But I think the biggest benefit in terms of improving phones and improving social media and improving the ways that people can access social media, the biggest thing for me that it helps my life in particular in the way that I use Twitter is for information. Like without my favorite, just as an example, my favorite soccer team is Borussia Dortmund, their soccer team based in Germany. Without Twitter, I would literally have no idea what goes on with their day-to-day activities, what goes on to their like their team-based activities, because nothing... To that end, you might not even know they exist. Yeah. Yeah. Like anything... And besides, I mean, the Premier League, for those of you who don't know, is the big soccer league in the UK. That just recently... Yeah, there you go. Just recently became like mainstream to the point where it's on NBC Sports all the time. Mm-hmm. Right. And all their so affiliates. You, yeah. So you can watch that type of sport, even though it's not in this country on a daily basis and learn more about it and know what's going on. But without Twitter, especially 
like I said before, just the spread of information and the amount of stuff that would normally not get out. Because you look at some, and I just recently saw a documentary <clears throat> uh, about the atrocities going on in Syria and how ISIS invaded Syria and the way that they conduct themselves within Syria. And their main goal was to get this group that made this documentary to not have the ability to spread their information because they didn't want yeah. people to yeah. know what was actually going on inside the country. And right. that's not just in Syria. That no, You could say that I mean, for Russia and Germany, um, oh, yeah. North Korea, World too. War II. Yeah. So I mean, you have yeah. these mul multiple instances where certain countries don't want information to get out, and yet it still is able to through social media and through these avenues. Because you look at, yes, yeah, like smartphones are so advanced to the point where so many people have them and it's just like to the point where you can snap a video of some great world event that's happening like even if it's a tragedy like uh like a terrorist attack or something or like that military coup that happened in turkey yeah like no one would have known what was going on but people shoot up their phones and record videos like that i don't know if you guys ever saw any of the videos of the turkey uh, the the military yeah. too in Kirky, yeah. but that video of the helicopter shooting oh, yeah. the turret down and, and like onto the bridge, like that shit is mind blowing. Yeah, and it's to the point where, yeah, it's in. I have mixed feelings with those intense videos like that because you're everything you're seeing is a hundred percent real. It's like these people are actually being affected by like yeah. this helicopter is actually trying to shoot at people, yeah. and I'm watching this. But to an extent, it helps me get more of a perspective of what people go through in different countries and especially how those countries conduct themselves on a daily basis because I just want to know how everybody does everything because it just interests me so much and social media and my smartphone gives me the ability to do that but as always it's just moderation so yeah. it's like I disagree to the t extent where I would want to go back because I love my phone and not to the extent I love my phone where I'm just glued to it and have to be I am. doing something on it constantly I'll I admit mean, it Oh, I'm yeah. on it a lot. Oh, I'm, by no means am I Too not much, probably. on it. Probably. Yeah. I hate my phone. <laughs> I'm total opposite. <laughs> Can I have it, dude? Sure. GameStop will give me because I don't. I don't go on Twitter. On that. I don't browse. Like the only thing I do on my phone is Reddit. Yeah. But that's it. And it's like I don't use Twitter for ninety percent of what other people use it for. Just like I mean, troll. Yeah, that and comment racist things on race, uh, random tweets yeah. by like Trump or something. Or Trump. Yeah, or take pictures of your food. So I don't use social media for like, I, I almost want to say like the stereotypical of what people think that the use of social media is, yeah. but I just use it to gain as much information as possible because I'm just but, interested in so many things. I mean, the same, the same caveat of you can transfer information that's positive. You can also transfer information that's entirely negative. I mean, yeah. Fake news is a real thing as I much mean, as people Twitter joke bots, about it. Is, yeah. Twitter is all bots anyway, pretty oh, much. Yeah. and. You can get things stirred up pretty quickly. You can. The, the thing is, a lot of people talk about now. Where did all these like hate groups blah, blah blah come up? Well, they were there the whole time. Now they just have a way to connect. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, ISIS like the main way they recruit people is through social media. Yeah, yeah. So we could sit here and talk all day about yeah. the good and positives. And There's no, about we would media. literally be banging our head against like, the wall. Like it would be chasing yeah. our tails forever and ever. But what I want to what I want to focus on here, yeah. boys. Is the plateauing of our society? Yeah, yeah. I was talking about we, the phones, smartphones. Oh well, yeah, yeah. And we went, we went down a road of social media. I just yeah. Well, really transferring of information has to do with all I facets do, of technology. And I do, so. I do agree, especially with smart smartphones are the best example because, yeah, I mean, we're, they're going to put four more cameras in it. And they're cool. going to be Sick. a thousand megapixel. I, I, Apple's going to take the headphone jack away. Sick. Yeah, I mean, I just and especially with cars too. Cars, I also think it's just kind of a horizontal line at this point because yeah. if you get any car in the last like three or four years leather seats sat nav bluetooth it's yeah. almost like they steering do steering wheel they controls all the same almost man. yeah and it's they all... look good yeah i mean i think it's a good spot because i do think that they're, they're... making them safer you know they make there's yeah. a lot of good things about that and, but... they, and they look better but i don't see any difference in buying a 2013 car and a 2017 car yeah yeah, yeah i get that i don't see that and it's, it's almost to the point where they do stuff now with certain pieces of technology just to do things. Cause you bring up the headphone jack thing yeah. and it's like, okay, I get the wireless headphone aspect where, this, yeah. where the cord gets annoying, but why take it away? Give me the like, option. Yeah. Give yeah. people the option. Well, now they have, they case. have that adapter or whatever. Well, and they have... I saw people drilling holes into their bottom of their iPhones because <laughs> yeah. the headphone jack apparently is still there, but they just covered it up or something like that. That's Maybe. not true. Okay. That's a total lie, but they do, they 
people did try to do that. Okay. But all they did was ruin their phones. Yeah. Those people it's, are it's the same thing yeah. with the... Uh, the bending of the iPhone. No, the... Yeah. Well, that and... Watch, it breaks when I do it! Yeah. <laughs> One way to bend, not bend your iPhone and break or it... Or the microwave don't trick. Don't bend it. Yeah. Do you guys know about the microwave trick? No. Mm-hmm. If you put your iPhone in the microwave, it charges the battery, but it does not charge the battery. I would imagine it does that. Someone started that rumor, and people started doing that, and then they... You know what they did to their phones? Fire them up. Yes. Blow them up. And they no longer work. Yeah, that's like that someone works. sued Apple. Hey, your phone blows up when it goes in the I, microwave. I like yeah. dumped it in the lake and it doesn't work. This is bullshit. Why doesn't it's it stupid. float? Yeah, I mean, when it comes to like phones and stuff like that, I don't know. I think that I mean, I can sit here all day and say that they're boring me. This is boring. So let's let's go this route. Why don't I offer something? Why don't I say here's what we should work be working towards instead of just saying this is bullshit. I want more. I got some for you. I want holograms. I mean, I think it's sooner or yeah, later yeah. going to be like a contact lens that you put in. Or a and contact like everything lens. in your phone, like you can Ugh. have it like... I know, you know right? <laughs> For well, a guy gross. that already doesn't like his phone. Yeah. God damn Google it. Glass tried that though and it was failed miserably. Yeah, well, because well, I mean, Google it, hardware blows. Yes. Like well, real bad. You didn't like the Google computer? They, pi- they picked it up again. Yeah. They're, the they're phones are not good. None of it. Google no. Glass. Every, everything that Google has ever done hardware-wise, like I think Apple and Google should have created their conglomerate from the get-go. And Apple Gapple. should have just done the hardware, Google, and Google should have Google, just Google. done the UI, like software developments, updates, that sort of thing. Yeah, because Google Maps is better, Google Fact. Chrome is better. Yes, I mean Google makes good applications, and their UIs are awesome. Amazing but software. Apple hardware, I like the style of the MacBook. Yeah. I like iPhones. I like the style. The touchscreen that the Apple did was the first best one out there because yeah. there's other phones that had touch screens and they sucked yeah the iphone comes out and smashes it through flawless like through the ceiling yeah perfect and it was done very well ipods ipods are fan you want to talk about i have my ipod from eighth grade yeah yes you want to talk about for mp3 players and I'm in my oh, fifth year ipod is the like the pinnacle yeah. 50 cent was pushing that shit out in the club yeah. remember that yeah. yeah in the club first came yeah. out yeah he went to his song on the iPad. Actually, had a physical scrolling yeah, wheel. Yeah, I have yeah. a physical scrolling wheel on mine. Oh my god! Awesome. I remember back in the day when you would send. I mean, this is getting a little off topic, but I remember back when I was in eighth grade, they had a seventy-five gig one that I had, and the hard drive failed. And then back in the day, you could send your iPod if the hard drive failed. You could send it in, and they'd and send they'd you give a new, new one. one. And they'd give you the new version. Yeah, because the, se- yeah. the seventy-five yeah. gig one I had, they were no longer making, so they sent me. For free, a hundred and fifty gig one, just That's double yeah. the size. Thanks yeah. for Apple. free. Yeah, yeah. it's like that sweet. doesn't happen anymore. No. Yeah, it's not. iPod, but the iPod Touch was sweet. The iPod Nano the Touch was sweet. iPod Mini, the, but see, then they started getting the, a little weird with the iPod Shuffle. The thing I I, had the I don't like first. stuff that I can't see the song that I'm supposed yeah. to. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I had the Shuffle first when I was in fifth grade, sixth grade. Yeah, saved up for it was like sixty bucks or seventy bucks, mm-hmm. and I was like, this is the future. Yeah, but. I was also in sixth grade. Yeah. And another thing you have to worry about as, especially with uh, the newest iPhone that's coming out, it's probably going to reach like upwards of like 900 to a thousand dollars. It's like, yeah, to, no to a certain extent, kidding. it's like, I'm cool with I'm everything. With I just want to stay. Yeah. What yeah. possibly, like, cause we talk about what possibly could they improve? It's like, if you improve the camera, that doesn't make me want to buy a spend an extra yeah. $900 to upgrade yeah. from a phone that has a pretty badass camera to begin yeah. with. Yeah. And I, my, all I need is to replace the battery because yeah. those do go bad. Yeah. Yeah. But it's almost I like mean, they do it on purpose. They probably do hmm. with updates. Hmm. Weird. Like, oh, oh, if you want to, you want to just go ahead and update your phone, but we're going to make your battery worse. So then after three years, you have to buy a new phone. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. You know how they say like, don't leave your phone on the charger because it reduces the battery. Yeah. No, that's a myth. That is a is complete it? myth. Yeah. It's a myth. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Anything with like, the type of batteries that they use now with anything in the last five years, you can leave it on the charger all day and it'll be fine. Because this battery is dog shit. I mean, granted, I've had <laughs> yeah. I've, I've had it for four dog th- shit battery. I've had I mean, it not for, five years, but yeah, I've had it for four to five years. But while I was at school for like a year and a half to two years of the lifetime of this, I would leave it in like on the charger, almost like it was like a desktop on my desk. Yeah, and I feel like that to a certain extent has affected how dog yeah. shit the battery is. You could also argue though that. So you said you got that like four or five years ago. Mm-hmm. And to be honest, if you show that to me nowadays, it's still perfectly useful. Yeah. Yes. Same with this. I've had this phone for now two years. It's the iPhone 6S or no, 6 Plus. It's not even in the S's. It's not even a 7. None yeah, of that mine's shit. Yeah, 6S Plus. So mine's it's like, six. so you could argue almost that maybe something happens and then technology moves way too fast and then plateaus. Yeah. Like the yeah. invention, like dude, fuck, the we're, invention we're of the computer. Up. 
we're like, catching up to the technology. The technology was is far ahead of yeah. where we are, and we're kind of working our way towards yeah. the max capacity. Yeah, that's a good way of looking at it. See, because I have, oh, because on, honestly, we're the first generation to grow up with it. Yeah. Because our parents didn't have cell phones. Our parents didn't have a lot of stuff. We're no. creating most of it, and I think that we are kind of overreaching a little bit, and we're working our way into like, okay, this kind of works, but this really doesn't. Yeah. So let's just try on this. Yeah. Stuff. Which it, is fine. And yeah. we were talking about the other day um, when like how parents like today's day and age, how you like show them your phone or something, even like older, like aunts and uncles or grandma and grandpas and stuff, you show them old phones or computers and stuff. And it's like, wow, well, I don't know this technology. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's about to do. yeah. It's like, I've when, grown quite wary. <laughs> when we're that age, I don't think That's that'll gonna ever be an issue. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. Well, yeah. I don't think it'll ever be an issue because we'll have such a base of knowledge and we'll have upgraded throughout, like, obviously we'll have some catching up to do, like you said, but yeah. I feel like because we're progressing along with the technology and we have, because like we said, you can improve this, but it's by so little amounts. Yeah. So when it's smaller, point, yeah, yeah. When we're upgrading and experiencing the upgrades through smaller increments, I feel like we'll be more adapted to the technology. I mean, so we'll never have points where they'll, my kid will be showing me how to use like some phone or something. And, and yeah. the thing is for us, it's, it, we just have to remind ourselves how new all this stuff really is. Mm-hmm. Computers are very new. This is not even a frick. What do they just have their ten year anniversary for this? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like it's, and that's what I'm saying. Like this, this Apple smartphone 3G came out, and it was like, what the fuck? This <laughs> is the greatest <laughs> shit ever. Yeah. And now it's like, oh, sick. The Apple 7B 5.06 yeah. is gonna talk. Can, how many has let- a button that. You can touch in the back and it turns the phone on. How many letters Six. can Six. you add on to the phone? Yeah. <laughs> Sick. Can we, do, you want, do you want to know the dumbest progression of technology that's going absolutely zero? Please. TVs. TVs. 50K. Once, once they hit 4K, that's it. Well, there's 8K now. Well, no, no, that's what I'm saying, though, is once you hit 4K, because there is a huge difference between 4K and like 1080p. There is. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Once you hit 4K, that's it. Why go any higher? Yeah. You, a, you don't have the content. Curve for TV. Buy yeah. a window. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> you don't have content that can support it for the most part. I mean, there's some, like, House of Cards is in 4K. Not to mention, Sick. what, yeah. what but, do you have to buy on top of the TV to reach that capability? Yeah. yeah. So, broadcast, and I can tell you, personal experience, broadcast is not in 4K at this moment. Like, they're still working yeah. on a lot of different things I can imagine the and cameras that you'd have to buy as like a production crew to yeah. broadcast in 4K. I've seen them. They're called Sony Red cameras. They're a lot of money and they're like They got to be like six long. Yeah, they got to be they're like huge. six figures. But I mean Oh way yeah, way more than at that. At some point you literally can't make something more real high def than real life. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at some point that's just that's the life. person. That's that's it. That's it. You're that's, there. Buy have, a window. have you guys ever seen the curved TVs? Yeah, yeah. I'm not a fan. Do, it's I, just supposed to be like no matter the where only you advantage. Sit. Yeah, yeah, wherever you sit in the room, you get a good picture of whatever. Yeah, you see I don't. I don't like the curve no. aspect. I think it's kind of a gimmick. I yeah. definitely like the idea, but I'd have to like really sit down. Because if you sit on the side, it really doesn't. I, I, to me, at least, I was like, okay, does I it can, help with glare at all? Because I do notice, like, if I'm sitting and watching, like, and if a well, TV LED is higher, screens aren't supposed to have any glare. Yeah. LED. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because there's no or like, OLED. like plasma where there's like that film on top where yeah. these yeah. are just lights coming from behind it so because even if i'm even if i'm on my like 1080p led like samsung monitor and i'm a little lower i notice like the top of the screen is a little darker so like i have to move up to see certain things if i'm on the computer or playing video games or something yeah maybe i mean but new tv comes out eight thousand dollars something insane and then two years later it's six hundred dollars you can get a 4k you can get a 4k 55 inch tv the same tv that i have the same brand but 4k version and I saw it on sale for two hundred and seventy five dollars. That's nuts. And when four K insignia? No, it was Westinghouse. Which oh, I've man. I've literally used Westinghouse my entire life. Yeah. They've never failed. It's a good it's a good TV. Yeah. Yeah. It's perfectly fine. It's just not one of the big five. Right. And it's just like like with phones like we were talking about phones in general, like with Apple, just to put that half eaten apple on the screen up it by five hundred dollars. Yeah. Oh yeah. Easily. Just as simple as that. Flip side though, you know what technology I want to just go through the space stratosphere atmosphere vr vr, yeah. VR is Dude, so you know, out of time man vr awesome. is going to be at like live sporting event. Yeah. i mean they already had it at the derby they already had it at the super bowl the nba finals the nba finals like give it a matter of time Wimbledon. and that's going to be how people watch tv yeah we're just yeah. going to look like a bunch of fucking robots 
sitting on her couch just yes. derp, yeah. and you're just going to wear this helmet. <laughs> to, the, to an extent, I mean, it, it's kind of a devil's advocate here, but I think, I don't know, virtual reality definitely came on really strong. Hard. And and it and we've talked about this before. It has to become more mainstream to the point where more people can afford it to be in their living rooms. Yeah. But it has to be more, the more user friendly. Yeah. The product itself has to be more affordable. But to an extent, with a caveat to the more affordable part, is that it has to be advanced enough to the point where it's not just these fucking twenty five dollar ones that you put on your you put your phone on the end of it because yeah. that yeah. shit like it's, it's so lame. All those yeah. Samsung commercials where they put them on the phone. Oh. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I remember trying it the first time. It's like I'm just in a dark room with my phone in front of my yeah. face. Yeah. Like, but you like you. So put you on... mean I'm going to bed right now? Is that what it's like? Because I th- personally, I think that AR augmented reality will kind of once that becomes more advanced, like a more like the Hololens version of like Hololens and Google Glass. Like yeah. when someone finally gets it right, I think AR will kind of pass VR. But it's, it has a different avenue. I wouldn't say pass. Yeah, I guess I guess AR is more for like I'm not gonna watch it. TV as it yeah. floats on top of this pool table in front of me, but I want to watch, you know. But uh, VR is it just, just has a di- it just has a different target. Yeah, yeah. because not- that could be used more for like okay, here's my house. I want to shut all the windows. I want to shut all the lights. I want to start my car. Yeah, blah, it's like blah, more day to day activities. Yeah, but VR oh, is that would be fucking sweet. Yeah, what would be dope? <laughs> <laughs> what would be dope is you were saying the TV on the pool table. Imagine like working on your computer and thing is like you have like a glass that like extends out and it's just like a TV like right there. So or you're watching it, so you don't have to have a physical TV there. You can go TV, move here, computer screen, move here. Yeah, like, now I'm typing and stuff. Like Iron Man. Like just yeah. throwing shit around with your hands, that would be so sick. Yeah, oh, that would be the best. Or I could literally watch porn and sports at the same time. Nice, it's the dream. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> or you just have a table that's blank, and the game is just being played on your table. So you're watching the NFL, and just a little mini Stafford running around, dropping yeah. bombs. Just, hey, there now, you go. <laughs> now let's think about this. Think about all the different aspects that you could do with that, right? Like you got the game playing, but then say you got like the so there is technology out there right now that's player tracking. So you got, say, the game playing right here on a TV, and then right above it, you see all the little player tracking elements running around the yeah. field and the players live real time. Or you yeah. choose what player to have a perspective of. Yeah. Yeah. No, you just grab it Which and just go full screen. Oh, Love Bell just scored me 60 fantasy points. Sick. That would be cool. Side so note. at least we're thinking of different ways that technology can go that it hasn't gone yet or there that we don't know that yeah. we're working on. So that makes me feel a little bit better. I don't know. The reason why I came up with this topic is because I've been thinking to myself, humans are getting lazy. They're eating member berries, and they're just like, let's just maybe, maybe, maybe remember it movie, remember Starbucks, <laughs> yeah, remember the Death Star. There's remember definitely the there. There definitely seems to be a lack of creativity, at least on the surface. But I will say, there's still some big breakthroughs. And oh, the yeah. beautiful part about technology is you don't know when it's coming because that's the point. Yeah, so they are inventing stuff every day. Yeah. Side note: Before we move on to the next topic, Ian just gave the title of the video. Porn and sports at the same time. Mm-hmm. Oh, you want, about, you want to talk about clickbait? <laughs> put a rig red circle in the background that says, but look what he saw next. Yeah, just put a chick with huge cans on the front. You're getting, <laughs> That's views over. on views. So, oh, my God. You're just going to be your best viewed video of this week easily. Y- YouTube 101. Ian. A chick with huge cans. <laughs> Ian, that was a great topic. Yeah, hey man. It's a good topic. I'm just trying to be me. 